Okay. So I made it back. Um, this time, it's much easier to play, I realize, when I'm not just talking about what I'm doing the whole time, too. So I made it through here. I didn't get points. I didn't hit all the cannons this time. I'm just kind of playing through uh, just to get through it fast. So I'm back on level 9. This time I have a full 5 lives. Um, so hopefully I can just get through the rest of it, explaining what I can do. Alright, so I'm going to go through the rest of level 9 again. Um, so like I said before, I go down to kill this. So I can conserve energy. Going up here, we just kind of hover. Use this platform to regain your energy. You can just do this for however long as you want until you're ready. And then a tap jump to go all the way up. Killing those core bats, but you really don't need to. You kill that. Ooh, I almost died. <laughs> just bonking up the ceiling there. I don't kill the right cannon here. Um, just because it's above a pit of spikes. Here, I'll go back down real quick. Hitting that while also not touching the spikes is really hard. You have to hold up to avoid the spikes, but you can't swing while holding up, right? That's what I was talking about at the very beginning. So I just avoid that cannon, even if I am going for score. And again, these stars are easy. We have the Growl, we have more blood. Hopefully I got a good cycle again. That's really nice the first time. No, I'm going to have to wait. Was good and then uh i guess i also got to showcase what it's like when you bonk on the ceiling there <laughs> waiting on your cycle so there we go now i can go and again i'm just holding up and right not panicking and i'm gonna wait until he's on the third tile coming left so i'm going now there we go um i just you just kind of have to go a little bit extra right to make sure you're not bonking because this uh this edge is is a little bit concave i guess and on this final spike this is the last obstacle in the level so you just kind of wait there's nothing you have to panic about you just wait until he's going left and then you're good these stars here are just free points you can just kind of grab them on your way all right level 10 so this first ketchup cycle super annoying you can hit this for points it's gonna fire at you I, I called it ketchup. The, there's a, a, a blood dripping down here. So just be patient. Wait until the spike is going left before you commit to this because you don't want to risk dying to blood. It's the easiest obstacle, like now. And then from there, you have plenty of time to regain your energy. You can grab this question mark blocks just because it's free. And then uh, if you're killing that growl, make sure you do it when it's going to the right. Like so. another question mark box you can just kind of like do you don't have to land on this platform at all you can just kind of do the loop around and this is the jump so make sure the corbat's in a good position before you commit to going to this platform and then this is a similar thing you want to do to the uh if you remember the stars back in level three you want to hold right the entire time and you just want to tap jump briefly just a, a little bit and as soon as you're clear of these spikes above you then you just commit and you go up and you land and hopefully you're good uh, it's tricky. It's going to take practice. Uh, I still screw it up constantly. Um, hopefully I get it clean this first try here. We'll, we'll see. Here we go. So I'm holding right. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the spikes. I'm looking at where I'm going to veer down to. And and when, once I get low, that's when I want to press jump. But I just want to make sure I'm holding right the whole time. And I'm just tapping jump briefly. And then once I'm clear, I'm holding jump. So it's tap, hold, <laughs> and hold right the whole time. God, that just sounds way more confusing than it actually is. Let's just do it. Here we go. Fuck. Like I said, I, I die here constantly. So what I did is I got the first jump, but I didn't hold jump afterwards. I was I was too late on my hold of jump, even though the first one was good. This is a good cycle here. Um, I'm always going to get all the stars, but you don't need to get the question mark blocks or kill the Grarl if you're not going for score, right? Here we have to wait for the Corbat. It's coming left, so I'm just going to hold on a little bit. Should be good now. Kill it, and here we go, take two. So again, I'm holding right, using a, a visual point. There's no real uh, indicator, so I'm just kind of doing it in my head. I'm gonna tap and then die. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut this part out. We'll see. God, this jump is just brutal. Okay, I can go 
It's a quick cycle that time. I, I'm not exaggerating. I think that's maybe the hardest jump in the game. It's either that or the, the fireball jump. Or the zigzag on level 15, which we'll get to. There we go. Okay, take three. And tap and hold. That was uh, pretty risky. I could have died to the spikes above me there. Um, what I did was I, I, I tap jump, but I didn't let go long long enough, I think. I, uh, I, I tap jump and then let go and then started holding jump a little bit too early. Which is not what I normally do when I clear that. Uh, but it worked out. So I'm going to roll with it. And uh, and you can see how hard that is. I, I feel like I've, I've had so much practice and I'm still dying to that jump every other run. It's, uh, my success rate is still not the best on that specific jump. Th this level, I'm not really talking about it because it's kind of a breather. You can, uh, you can kill those cannons and uh, go into that little alcove where the spike is and get the question mark blocks. Just kind of when you want. Just be patient. Don't risk it. Uh, you can see these two blood drops on the right. Never go up the right side, it's just a trap. I did that my first time going here, and I was so angry. If you're killing the Growl, just uh, make sure it's on a good cycle. Don't fly up when you know the cannons are firing, because it could be a fast shot, right? So they're going to fire right now, you hear them? That was a fast shot, and now that they've fired, I can go up, commit to the Growl. And if I miss it, like I did, I just come back down here in the safe spot. So it should be every every other time the Growl goes right. You can fly up and kill him, and then you wait for another set of cannon shots. They're kind of offset because the one had a fast shot, so... I guess I'm going to go now and hope for the best. And uh, if you're killing these cannons as well, I like to wait up top here so you can kind of conserve energy. Fly down, wait for it to shoot, fly down and kill it. Same thing on the left side here. It fires, I go down, kill it, and go back up. And uh, don't go in this door. It's it's a trap, because there is a bonus level if you go up. You don't need to tap jump, you can just hold up the whole time, and these little orbs will refill your energy. There's four of them, and then you go into the bonus door. So what I do here is I try to get, I try to save my flight for the strips of horizontal stars. You get as many as you can falling down, but these are where I commit my energy. So I'm about half, and then I get the final ones here. I don't know how many I got, but normally I try to, I think on a good run, doing what I did there gets me about like 90-ish. So it's worth doing, it's basically an extra life. And there's two bonus levels in the, uh, in the whole game. Uh, so level 12, this is your farming level. If you're going for score, you farm this level. So what you do is first thing, you go up left side, there's a couple bats and a cannon. You can regain energy here, wait for the spikes, the bats to go left, kill them one at a time, just be patient. There we go, and the cannon's up to the left here. So you can kind of hug there, wait for it to fire. Kill it, fly up, kill the Growl. Kill the Growl. And uh, there's one more Growl and a uh, another star you can get up here if you keep going. These are just more of the, the kind of tricky jumps. Again, just don't panic. Your energy is fine. You will make it. This is the star you can get. I don't recommend getting the others. Just line yourself up with this stair, fly straight up, and as soon as you hear the star, stop holding up and just drop. Like that. Hey, don't get any of the other ones. It's not worth it. Just play it safe. Hug the right on the stairs. You can keep going up, and there's the final grower that you can kill. So we'll go up, we'll go left, and then we go all the way back down. The reason this is the farming level is because the points you get are based on how many enemies are in the, this level and this level is so long and there are so many enemies that each enemy gives you a lot of points so now that we've gone all the way up left we go all the way back down just dodging the spike ball and now we can go right so there's two more cannons here one just fired you can just hit it and just kind of there we go. Just don't risk landing there. Oh, I have no energy. <laughs> Let's see that. What I did there was I risked landing there. Don't do that. Don't do what I do. Do, it, do as I say, not as I do, right? And 
to get out of here, you kind of have to hover and uh, spam your tap jump. Oh, there's just one cannon. What am I saying? There's not two. So it's five stars up to the left here. And then there's another safe spot you can land right before here. This is the tricky part of the level. There's uh, two platforms. I'll fly straight up so you can see. There's two of these, and then there's also three cannons directly above this. So what you want to do is try to conserve your energy. So if you can, you can uh, land on here briefly, conserve your energy, and when you go up here, veer to the left. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> That's uh, another part that I had a lot of trouble on when I was first learning this level. So I'm not going to go all the way to the left this time. I'm just going to... Well, first of all, I'm going to wait for this cannonball. Because it's... I, I was worried it was going to kill me. Do collect the stars. But I don't think it's worth going all the way up to the left just to collect one star. Okay, take two. So, I think I should explain before I do this time. So I go up, I try to land briefly to conserve energy if I can. And as soon as I get past... I have to use my mouse here. As soon as I get past this second platform, I'm going to start veering a bit left. And hopefully my, my mouse is visible. You veer a bit left, try to thread the needle between the two cannonballs. And once you're past those two cannonballs, you're basically safe. All you have to do is land on the third platform with the third spike ball. And hopefully you have a little bit of energy left so you can kind of uh, hover to a safer landing point. And that's what I didn't do, is I didn't hover enough. I flew too far up, used all my energy, and then uh, had nowhere to land. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to briefly land, get my energy back, go up, tap jump to the left, and that was a fast shot as well. And then I can land, tap jump up, and safely land in the cubby hole. <laughs> so I'm safe right now. The uh, the cannons can't hit me. And you see what I did there was uh, the tap jump was the key. S spam the tap jump so you can serve energy. And then I was able to do both dodge the third cannonball, dodge the third spike, and land safely, get a bit of energy back. From here, if you're going to kill these cannons for points, I would suggest doing it one at a time. And they're kind of shooting uh, offset right now. Which makes it a bit better. And once they fire, do one. This third one's going to fire. Okay. This, uh, this final one in the corner, you could probably just skip it, to be honest. It's so much riskier than the other two. The, the first two, you can just wait for them to fire and then go. As long as you know the spike ball, which you can see is uh, in a good spot. But I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to hit the third cannon, because I think it's too risky anyways. Uh, this area is similar to level 7. You just kind of go it's going to the right. Never get that final star. Obviously, it's a trap. It's impossible. And uh, because these platforms are all different lengths, the spike balls are going to be in different cycles. So they're kind of weird and not synced up right now. They'll eventually sync up again, I believe. But you don't really want that anyways. So you just want to go when it's safe, hover it. I bonked on the ceiling and, uh, and dipped down too far. If I were holding up there, even though I bonked on the ceiling, I still would have been safe because there was two gaps. But uh, I, I was I let go of up because I was hovering. I was hovering in, in place to conserve energy. But now I get to do this fun part again. So here we go. I'm going to get my energy back, and we're going to go. And we're tapping jump, and we're going left. Even though there is a fast shot, I'm safe. Oh, good god. I, I find this part more stressful than the jump in level 10. Honestly, just because it's so much longer. It takes like a good 5 seconds to get through this fully. Alright, so now these are a bit offset, so I can go up safely. But the, the second and third one are not lined up. Here we go. I'm going to go when this is going to the left again. God, that was a bit sketchy. But uh, the, the strategy is the same thing as level 9. There's the triple spike pit, and then the, the final spike ball. It was the same thing where I wait until this is going left into the final tile, and then I come in. Um, it's just a bit trickier because there's another spike ball on the platform you're waiting on, and you kind of have to make sure that cycle lines up as well. But hopefully, it made sense explaining it 
afterwards. Now, these core bats, you just kind of play it safe. Uh, you don't want to die on this part after you've already done the hard part of the level, so just just wait. Just chill. You have a full, uh, what, five minutes to do this level, so... I, I kill all three just to play it safe, and there's two more cannons here that you might not even want to kill, because they're kind of dangerous. They could do a fast shot there. And if they do, it's hard to uh, it's hard to adjust. And hey, the door takes up the entire platform, so even if you adjust and you try to fly over one, you'll just end up accidentally going into the door anyways. So here we go, level 13. This is uh, another simple level. All there is is a cannon. You can kill it and just wait for it to fire. Then you go up, swipe. Up to the left, there's a spike ball, and then there's three corbats. So uh, just make sure they're going left. And then you can land. You can either kill them one at a time if you want, or you can just fly up. If you're not going for score, just make sure you get the three uh, stars, and there's a cannon above you, along with the spike balls to the left. So I go up to this question mark blocks, land, and then you're in the clear. There's another set of three spike balls here. But what you can do is uh, you can land briefly if you want. You really don't need to, though. You can just kind of go straight up here, and as long as you're holding up and you don't run out of energy, you can just land here and wait as long as you need. And then you just hold up the whole time, and you're in the clear. The uh, the final drop, there's one more spike and one more cannon. It's not this first part, it's the second drop. So there's going to be a spike below me. I'm holding left, and I'm going to tap up. Oh. I am screwed, aren't I? No. <laughs> I've actually never done that before. I've, uh, I've never ran out of energy on the fall. But there you go. You don't even need energy to make that drop. You can just hold left, and you're good. I usually uh, tap up just to play it safe, but I guess you just don't need to. Today I learned. And then we move on to level 14. This is our first instance of spikes. The uh, the pet pet, the little spiky pet pet. There's one right on your level as you start level 14. So just uh, just fly right up. Make sure he doesn't uh, spin into you. You see what they do is they, they kind of spin unpredictably. And you can't. They're invulnerable when they're in a tornado. But they always veer left to right. They move in the, the same pattern as the Guaro, they just spin unpredictably. So as long as you are behind them, you're safe. They're never going to turn around randomly. Right, so I can collect these four stars, first of all. And then uh, this spike above me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for it to get to the, the right side of the platform and start moving left. And as soon as it starts moving left, I'm good to go. So here we go. And that, that's actually a great pattern because I could just land and kill it. But sometimes you can't. Sometimes it'll keep spinning left and you just kind of have to follow slowly behind. And then maybe you can't kill it, maybe you don't get a chance. So what you do is you have this little uh, this cubby hole above you here. So all you do is wait for it to start coming to the right, and then if it starts spinning, you go, oh, jeez, and then you start flying up and just wait for it to pass. And uh, I'll try to show it off on these. I'm going to kill one of them. Because there's two spikes here, I don't like going... Oh, jeez. I could have died there. I don't like just committing when, there's, when they're both still alive. It's so much harder to find a window. But what I'll do is, uh, this one I'll try to specifically not kill it. I'll wait for it to go right, and I'll follow behind, and I'll just kind of slowly go behind. And then as soon as he starts coming left, I'm going to fly up, and I'm going to hover and tap. Oh! And he spun. He spun for like eight seconds there. But that's alright. So again, we fly up, dodge that first spike. And you can kill him if you want. So we'll do the same thing. We'll wait for him to go left, and, <laughs> and we'll just try to land behind and kill him. And if he started spinning there, I was just going to fly up and get out of there. I'm not going to not gonna risk it again. So even though I only have two lives here, I'm in, I'm in a city, pretty uh, safe spot. So we'll do this. We fly up, we wait for him to go, and then we peace out of there. And if you want to kill him, I would just wait up here. And you do a similar thing where you wait for him to start going right. Jesus. And then you kill him from, from behind. So same thing here. I was able to kill him that time, and as soon as you kill them or get past him, you're free. Because there's no even there's no reason to even go down. I don't know why that spike ball is there. There, it serves no purpose. And then we move on to level 15. This is probably the hardest level, but it starts off with these uh, stars, which are pretty free. You just don't hit the spikes, which you know sounds simple, because it is. You have plenty of energy, you're not gaining height, you're just kind of hovering. And next we have a tough part. I do the same thing as level 3 where I line myself up on this uh, that left ledge, 
and I'll, and I'll go straight up just to showcase what's happening here. Is there's a, a platform, a conveyor with a spike ball and a conveyor with a, sp a spike. So our goal is to get to that conveyor platform with the spike on it. Uh, what we can do is I, I wait until this spike ball is on the right side, and then I'm going to start flying up. Once it uh, starts moving left, I'll go now, and then I can land here, regain my energy, and then I go up and I hover. And I want to kill the spike if I can. But if I can't, that's fine, because I can still do the same strat as level 6, right? I kill it from behind, and then I have a cubby hole. Let's say, for example, you can't kill the spike, you can't land, and you have nowhere to go and you run out of energy, then you just go back down. Just don't risk it, come back down here, start again. It's, it's really not worth it, and you'll end up panicking and struggling, and you'll have no energy. Just, if you're running out of energy, just commit to coming back down to the start and try again. Don't risk dying especially not at level 15. So here we go, I line myself up. Spike ball's moving left, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna land. And from here, you can land or you can just go all the way up to the cubby. Oh, there, I ran out of energy, perfect. So that's what I do. I don't risk it and I say, I am just landing. I am not dying here. Okay, we hover, we land, we have energy. So we're just gonna go all the way up. So now you have, three options here but only the middle one really leads you to the end of the level if you can go left i'd really like to kill this spike actually just to i, I just want to show the left and the right side ah I'll, I'll do it i'm gonna die i'm gonna have to do a third video to get back here again but that's okay So let's go. Let's let's kill this blight this time. So we land, get our energy back. There we go. This time I was able to kill it. And let's kill the uh, the the corbat this time too. There we go. Kill it from behind, just like level six. And now going up the left side, there's a corbat, or no, it's a cannon, and there's one more spike as well. There is a corbat. So we just do the same thing where we just be patient. Don't risk it. And there's the spike above us. Uh, but you really just kind of don't really have to like be in any danger. Anytime you run out of energy, you can just land. There we go. And then there's, I'll keep going, but there's really not much else up here. And you have to uh, hover jump basically the whole way. So there's this. And there's one more spike past this part. But like, look at this. Do you really want to do this? No, right? It's it's just not worth it. So don't do it. Don't go up the left side. There's two enemies and a cannon. Which is, you know, good for points or whatever. And where is the cannon? It's below me. Somewhere. There it is. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'll go up. I really don't want to commit all the way up here, but you see there's another cannon and a blood pool, which are kind of annoying. It's always annoying getting past cannons from below, because they're off screen and they'll just fire at you. And, and this is all for like, what, one point, two point, a small chance at 100 points in a question mark box, like just don't do it. So you just go up the middle path, up the little staircase here, there's a spike that you can kill, but you can also just fly past, right? You can go up here, regain your energy, and then come down and kill it, and hover. Go, like so <laughs> takes a while sometimes then you fly up there's a spike ball there's a blood pit above it but you can just hover past it you don't even need to land this is the uh the calm before the storm and you can see the storm just to our left here with all the stars and these spikes and that's called the uh, the drop tm oh you know what what am i saying you can just come down here kill the spike here oh geez just you know don't die Or you can not kill it, which is what I would prefer to do, because <laughs> I don't want to die right now. So the drop. Uh, it's tough, but the beginning part is uh, surprisingly easy. I say surprisingly. It looks really, it looks like the toughest drop in the game, but you have a lot of leeway, and there's very rarely spikes above you, and I find that's the biggest danger. You can always hover above the spikes that are uh, in your path below. So we're gonna, do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop. There's three stars. After we get those three stars, we're going to veer a bit right, because there's three more stars. And then we're going to veer a bit to the left. There's two stars in a little alcove to the left. 
and then we go down a, a final little uh, narrow drop with more stars. But before we commit to the, the very last part, the zigzag drop, there's going to be a, a safe spot to land on. So, so I'm going to go down and I'm going to collect the stars. And there's a part where you can get stars on both the left and the right side. So we get three, veer to the right. Then we come left. There's a left aft alcove. Hold left, line yourself up. You get these three, hover. Three more. You get this one, veer to the right, left. And then we land. I, I feel like people don't get all of those stars, but just do it. It's, it's not that hard. You have so much more leeway than you would think. And, uh, and it adds up. If you come in here, if you come into level 15 and you have five lives, like you get a level and a half just from that little uh, drop alone, right? And this is the uh, the tough part. So first, when you first uh, go down to this drop, you can line yourself up on this corner here. That's the first thing we're gonna do. I'll, I'll show you. So here, I'm not gonna commit to the drop, but I'm gonna line myself up just to show. So we go and we line up and we commit to the drop here, right? And you see, we have tons of energy. And if you don't feel comfortable, if you've used too much, you can just go, you know what, and, and you go back and you land. And you get your energy back and you try again. When we actually do the drop, what I do is I, I try to focus on where the, the spikes are here. So I'm going to drop straight down. Once I see, I'm not looking at these spikes, because I, I know I'm going to pass these spikes safely. But when I get to these spikes, that's when I'm going to start. I, I'm not going to, I'm going to drop down. And before I go left, I'm going to hold up first. I'm going to tap up to kind of hover in this area. Once I know I'm safe tapping up, then I go left. And I go all the way left to the wall while just, you know, tapping up to make sure I don't drop into, I don't want to drop into these spikes, right? I want to make sure I'm, I get to this part safely. There's a, a little safe spot here. Tap up, hold left. Once I'm safe on the left, then I go down. And then I do the same thing again to the right. And it's, um, I, I say, I'm explaining it and it sounds simple, but it's still just ridiculously hard. And probably the hardest part in the game, I would say. It, maybe, maybe the, the fireballs in level 17, but if we get there. So uh, here we go. All right, let's see if I can put my money where my mouth is, you know. So we line ourselves up. We drop, tap up, left, nope, drop, did, dead, instantly. I think I went too fast. I, I get another shot, but God, that's tough. At least I get to showcase the uh, getting all the stars again. So we line ourselves up, wait for the spike ball to go left, and then I commit. Land for energy. Ooh, this is a good... That was a good cycle. Now it's going left. I, I climb, I swipe behind me. Then we commit to the middle path. I'm just gonna skip the spike above me here. But again, if you're going for points, you should kill it. Tap jump to avoid that obstacle, and then it's just free all the way to the top. Woo! Okay, here we go, take two. So I guess I can show, you know, getting the stars again. So we go middle, we veer to the right, tap up, get the one star, into the alcove. Three more, and then I go right, tap up, hover to the left, get those three. Final one, and then safe spot. Oh, I ran out of energy. Oh, my bad. Well. <laughs> I, I think I spent too much uh, hovering. But hey, now you see the uh, the risk of getting all the stars. I actually uh, rarely die to energy loss there. But you know what? I'm going to uh, do a third recording, hopefully make it back here with maybe more lives to spare this time. And we'll continue.